cellular data is important especially if you're on the go. It gives you the capability to connect to the internet and send MMS or text messages with attachments. However, some owners of the iPhone have been complaining because the cellular data on their devices no longer works after the iOS 14.4 update. If you're one of them, then you have to troubleshoot your device. In this video, I will be showing you what to do if cellular data stopped working on your iPhone 12 after iOS 14.4. First solution, perform the forced restart on your iPhone. Most of the time, this problem occurs out of the blue without apparent reason. So if you were able to use this service prior to this issue, then it's probably just a minor one. Try making sure that the cellular data service is enabled. Go to settings, tap cellular and make sure the switch is turned on. If it's already enabled, try disabling it for a few seconds and enable it back. If this doesn't fix the problem, then try the following solution. Quickly press and release the volume up button, and then the volume down button. The moment you release the volume down button, press and hold the side or power key for 15 seconds or until the Apple logo shows on the screen. Your iPhone will continue the usual boot process. When the reboot is complete, try to see if cellular data is now fixed. Second solution, reset all network settings on your iPhone. After doing the first trick and the problem persists, the next thing you have to do is refresh all network or wireless services on your iPhone. You can do so by resetting all network settings. Don't worry, none of your files will be deleted. Here's how it's done. From the home screen, tap settings. Tap general. Scroll down to the bottom of the screen, and then touch reset. Touch reset network settings. If prompted, enter your security lock. Tap reset network settings at the bottom of the screen. Your iPhone will reboot after this. Once it has finished rebooting, try to see if the problem is fixed. Third solution, factory reset your iPhone. If the problem continues after the previous solution, then it's time to reset your iPhone. A reset should be able to fix this problem, but before you actually do that, make sure to create a backup of your important files as they will be deleted. When ready, follow these steps to reset your iPhone. From the home screen, tap settings. Find and tap general. Scroll down to the bottom of the screen, and then touch reset. Tap erase all contents and settings. Tap erase now. If prompted, enter your security lock. Tap erase iPhone at the bottom of the screen. Tap erase iPhone again to proceed. Now enter your Apple ID password, and then tap erase to proceed with the reset. Wait until your iPhone has finished the reset, and then set it up as a new device. I hope that this simple troubleshooting guide has been helpful. Please support us by subscribing to our channel and enabling notifications. Thanks for watching.